Okay, guys. Concentricity test of the 223 round for the AR-15. This will be testing it into a semi-auto rifle. Now, I loaded these on the uh, Lee set of Lee dies. So now we get to see what kind of run out, if any, Lee dies has to offer on a rock chucker press. And then we will test these rounds to see if there's any run out. Um, after chambering them. So let me run. Actually, I'm going to put this dial on 70. I've not fixed these in any way. Okay, from the lead dies. Looks like two thousandths of run out. Okay. Let's see if I cannot bump that just a little bit. Alright. Now I bumped the bullet. Still got just about two thousandths. Bump it just a tad bit harder. Okay. We got it to a thousand. So let's see if I cannot get it just below a thousand. I want to see how well I can get this. Now sometimes you can really mess up and wish you never went for more than what you got. Yeah, we're going to call that good. So I just bumped it from two thousandths down to a thousandths. We're going to call this case number one. And we call that at point zero zero one. Case number two. Well, guys, you're looking right there. I don't have to do nothing to that one. That's one thousandths. Case number three, and these are all Remington cases. Okay. That's three thousandths, which I would still call good, but let's go ahead and bump this, see if we can get it down to a thousandths like its counterparts. I'll run it up just above 80. Reset this on the line. There it is, a thousandths. We'll call that case number three. I got a friend that's got a set of lead dies for his 270. I'm going to see if I can't borrow them. Load these rounds up. You see what kind of run out he's getting. Because, like I said, 
this right here, and I'll show you the case. It's the Lee's. Comes with the Lee's factory crimp, two two three. Uh, all three rounds. One was two thousandths, one was one thousandths, and the other one was three thousandths. Let me get my AR-15 set up. We'll load these, case number three, then case number two, case number one. And uh, I'm going to eject them into my plush chair so that it doesn't distort or anything. Okay. Here's my mag. All three dummy rounds are in the mag. I don't have any other rounds whatsoever. Sorry guys, but I gotta do this. Um, I feel being a responsible gun owner and knowing the type of people that's viewing YouTube, and I apologize for not doing this on my 270, but for all the little folks that might be watching this with their parents, or sneaking off and doing it without their parents. The most important thing when dealing with firearms is making sure that it's cleared and there's nothing in it before you attempt anything. Nothing ejected and my firearm is clear. I do not feel I would be a responsible firearm owner if I did not show you this. And once again, this is just so if the little people are watching, you cannot drive home enough about gun safety. And I'm not above showing a clear firearm on camera if I can help teach somebody about firearm safety. Okay? So now, I'll show you once again, I got three dummy rounds in my Mac. Sorry about that, I cannot see what I'm doing. So now, I'm going to go ahead and charge it and eject the three rounds. First round is in, first round ejects, second in, second eject, third in, third eject. And as you can see, the bolt stayed open, which indicates an empty mag. So now let's check for the concentricity changes of a semi-automatic. Okay, now we're back at our gauge. We're getting ready to test case number one that had one thousandths of run out before. And let's see how much run out you gain from chambering in a semi-auto. Let's see if we can't get this gauge any better. Okay, that's where it bottoms out. We're on 70. Okay, case number one maintains one thousandths of run out. That's impressive. Case number two, we still had one thousandths. I believe this is one that went from, I took from two thousandths to one thousandths. Okay, that's the bottom right there. That one maintained one thousandths. That's still impressive. Okay, 
Bottom's on 70. Okay, now that one got bumped up just a tad over. But you know what? That's not enough to uh, diminish accuracy. Plus you're shooting it in a semi-auto uh, AR-15 assault rifle. Well guys, there you got it. Uh, I just ran a test with the bolt action. Very impressed. Did it with the semi-auto AR-15. I'm very impressed. So that tells me that I didn't waste my time or money because I don't shoot bench rest. That I can check the concentricity of my rounds, fix the concentricity of my rounds, feed them through my AR-15 or my 270 without worrying if chambering the round is going to knock the run out off. I do have a lever action Winchester model 94 3030. Um, I think I might make up some dummy rounds for it on another date and chamber it, chamber them using the lever action to see if that might might knock some concentricity out. Alright guys, hope you enjoy.